The Watchmen movie has been through, I don't know how many directors, producers, studios for many, many years, kind of 20 years, I guess, at, at least. And the fact that Zack Snyder is making it, you know, a guy who clearly loves comics and is very familiar with it and realises the importance of sticking to the original themes. I mean, just amazing stuff. He's stuck as closely as he can to what we put in the original comic book and played the strengths of that rather than just taking a bunch of characters and making a generic movie. It's been quite a while since we actually did Watchmen uh, and even today looking around the set I I've seen things that I'd forgotten about where people go, oh you remember this is, this is the bit where, oh yeah that's right, yeah yeah I remember it very clearly now. My first impressions are I'm just bowled over by the level of attention to detail. I mean, every little corner of everything has, has been considered. You know, when you, you draw something from your imagination, you have a model in your head that you draw from and you try and interpret in a kind of a misty, a misty kind of impression of a picture. This is like seeing that picture crystallized into reality. It's just incredibly exciting, not only to see things, but to touch them. You know, I was wandering around and I looked at set dressing, the things that are there in the background and probably won't even be noticed. It's been an incredible, incredible amount of care put into those. It's an, an amazing thing to see. An actual newspaper printed on newsprint that says, you know, some headline about Dr. Manhattan or, or you know, masked tri crime busters or something. I mean, it's just fantastic for somebody who, who lives in their imagination a lot of the time. It was really interesting to, to see on the set how the colours that were used in Watchmen had been translated to the, to the big screen. The palette that we went for was not the usual comic book palette. The usual comic book palette is blue, red, yellow, the primary colours. And what we went for was the, the secondary colours, you know, the purples, the greens, the oranges. And I think that, you know, made Watchmen distinctive. And I think the fact that that's been carried through to the movie version, it doesn't look like just another comic book movie. It's another one of these pinch me moments, like, am I really looking at this, you know? It is like a fully realised, crystallised dream. I've got a feeling with the movie that, you know, experts in their field have been used in so many of the, of, of the things, and just the level of detail and texture in that, that's going to have people running it over and over again on their, their DVD machines. And to actually literally live in your imagination, to actually see these things become solid in the world. It's just uh, incredibly exciting. Probably one of the most exciting experiences I've had connected with comics.